Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about changing the limit reservable bandwidth on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this is the ability for Microsoft Windows Update to reserve bandwidth for high priority tasks, such as Windows Update over tasks that compete for the limited resource of internet bandwidth. So you can reserve up to 20% of the bandwidth for high priority tasks while the other 80% is always available for other tasks like internet streaming or watching movies or you know whatever else you're doing on the internet. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys and without further ado let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu, type in GP edit, best match to come back up edit group policy, go ahead and open that up. Underneath computer configuration, you want to double click on the administrative templates folder. Do the same thing for the network folder, so double click on that. And now you want to go down to the entry in here that says QOS Packet Scheduler. And now on the right side where it says Limit Reserve Bandwidth, double click on that. So you can enable this and you can limit it up to 80%. You can also lower it as well. So, like it says over here on the right information panel here. So, by default, the packet schedule limits the system to 80% of the bandwidth of a connection, but you can use the setting to override the default. If you disable the setting and do not configure it, the system uses the default value of 80% of the connection. If you enable the setting, you can use the bandwidth limit box to adjust the amount of bandwidth the system can reserve. So, pretty straightforward process on that. Again, just would select enabled if you want to turn it on, otherwise you can select not configured or disabled, then you would select apply and OK to save that, and that's all you'd have to do. Restart your computer for the change to take effect. So there you go, guys. Hopefully that was a pretty straightforward process. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.